All right, so this is really about moving the ball at will, um, moving it left to right, right to left. First one here, Matt, I'm gonna get you to, or I'm gonna teach you how to, how to hit a draw, all right? Or let's say a draw big hook. I need you to have lots of loft on the club because when I, when I try and get you to hook it, I need to, your, your, your club face quite shut. All right, now if I have a five iron and I shut the club face, I've basically got negative loft or very, very little loft. Exactly right. This is probably why you, when you're trying to hit a hook around with a five iron, it really doesn't get up in the air very much. Mm. All right, so we can turn a nine iron into virtually a six iron or a five iron, all right, to sling it. So first things first, at that tree down there, you see there's a double trunker? Well, that's where we want with the ball to finish. What we need to get you to do is to aim well right of that and get the club face aiming at that tree. All right, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna swing along. So I want your hand path to swing along your feet line. Back and through. Okay. So you need to do that. So aim well right with your feet. Club face is gonna feel very closed or aiming at those double trunk trees. But the club face is going to be at the Trunk at, trees, yes. At the target. Correct. How's that? A little bit more close to the club face. Beautiful. And then swing. Swing along your feet line. On top of all of that, you've got to think in your head, I'm going to draw this. Okay. Big Good. hook. Draw hook feeling, yes. You've got the feel, you've got your system and your setup, you've got your feel, and then you've got your thought process thinking the same thing. All these three things have to align out. Great. There you go. There you go, mate. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so the whole idea of this is to create what we call a gear or spin axis effect, all right? Exactly right. You know, so we, we're gonna do this, like a, a really good analogy would be something along the lines of like a tennis shot or a table tennis shot, where you're coming from the inside, you're trying to hit a top spin forehand. Yes, absolutely. So once it lands, you know, with the, that amount of, of, of draw spin, it's, it should kick on. And obviously it depends on, on the conditions of the course, of, obviously, but uh, definitely gonna run out a lot. You know, this is something that you may want to land short and let it run out. Um, you might want to land it short of the green and let it kick on. How do I ensure that I'm actually set up correctly? Yeah. And, and, and uh, the feeling in the practice swing? Yeah, you'd, you'd probably be like standing like dead square first to your alignment. And then you can just go, and you, like you could almost think, okay, as a tester, let's try and shut my feet off 30, like 30% or 30 degrees right, you know, and then see what type of ball flights you, you're, you, like you're generating. Like everyone's gonna react very, very differently, obviously. You know, are you actually doing what you think you're doing? Um, in your particular case, you've got a lot of what we call club and ball sense. So for you, it's quite easy to achieve quite quickly. Some people need extra exaggeration, etc. So uh, it's definitely something you're gonna have to work your way around, experiment with, uh, keep trying to close that club face further keep trying to swing more along this, like your feet line, uh, it's gonna be a little hit and miss. Mm. But most important thing is you get that shape first. Yeah, I mean, the you could- feeling. Yeah, you could almost, you could almost get the club head and aim it where you're trying to go first and then try and get your feet working right. Okay, Let's So that a go. Yeah, so you aim your face, shut your club face off, get your hand position right and you're done. Okay. Now, I always try and feel like the ball is kind of like center to slightly forward to center on this. Nice See, the, that one, I, I tried not to exaggerate the... The feet so much, right? Yeah, yeah I tried I not see, to. Yeah. To see what happens. Yes, yes. And it's just a smaller... Smaller draw. A smaller draw. Yes. So, so that, the, the, the severity of, of both those variables... Correct. ...can change the severity. 100%, and if you can keep a constant with your club face, 
and then move your feet accordingly. That changes your gearing effect, right? The amount of. Well, what's important is, let's get the club face consistent to the target. Take your grip, don't change your club face, and you can move your feet stance according. Swing your hand line and your club head line in line with your feet. So that's just gonna create or promote a draw feel. This is gonna be the exact opposite. This is learning how to hit a, an intentional fade or a cut. Uh, you might use these things around trees, etc., or fighting the wind or trying to work against the wind. So this is the worst works exactly the opposite. Instead of taking a high lofted club like a 9 9, 8 iron or pitching wedge, etc., we're gonna use a four, five, or six. This is the easiest way to hit a, hit a cut shot. Why do we do this? Because if you notice with the draw, we had it closed. Now with the fade, we've got to keep it open. All right. What we're going to do as well is keep the ball position slightly more forward in the stance. You're going to go exactly opposite. Drop shot, undercut, slice. Almost at that type of thing. We're trying to create this type of, of movement, which means this club face needs to remain open. Uh, and there's a couple of little things that I'm going to talk to you about, it, which is especially with the right hand grip. Uh, we can really promote a cut fade shot by getting your hand or your right hand right on top of the club like a butterfly. Like, so almost feeling like your V goes at your left armpit rather than it going towards your right armpit. Right, that helps take away the face closure as well. So this is just an extra. Right, so exactly the same thing. We're going to aim and keep our club face where we want the ball to go. and then wrap it on top. So, aim your club face where you want to go, get your feet open, ball position forward, butterfly your right hand grip so it's like right on top, and follow your feet line. So the thing that you really got to work here is maintaining that club face way open. So it's really exaggerate this hold off. It's always a rehearsal, it's a feel. Exactly right. The, the whole idea is be able to move the ball at will, you know, exactly how much is gonna take a lot of intuition, feel, understanding, practice. Right? But when you get to a range, learn to hit it right to left, learn to hit it left to right. Then that's my normal stance, so I wanna open it. More. And get that ball. There you go. More forward. Good. Now just don't let that club face close. Yes. It mustn't match my feet. Exactly that right. tempting, right? That has to stay where it was. Okay, <laughs> I got you. Wow, that actually closed quite a bit. Yes. Wow. There you go. It's, it feels really uncomfortable to okay. start, huh? Now. Now? Yep, right on top. Good. Don't let the club face close. There you go. Even more. Really feel like it's It's gonna feel quite awkward. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Great. Now the amount. <laughs> so this is the thing, like moving the ball at will, right? This is the whole thing. It's like understanding what creates the ball spin to do this and this at will. And then if you can do both, you can sort of narrow it down to learn how to hit it straight. Yeah. The biggest thing that I see is everyone is trying to hit it straight. Play with the shape. When you understand how to hit one shape and two shapes, you'll understand how to hit it straighter. Straighter. You know, there's gonna be a shot shape tendency. Every player is gonna have like either predominant fade or a predominant draw, all right? And you're gonna find the opposite movement where you're going to have to double your feels yeah you know so that, that's that feels i mean the, the closing off the stars i feel like i can exaggerate but opening wow that's scary you know you're like correct i don't know correct. what it is yeah so let's say i set it up as normal mustn't i mustn't close that club first exactly that needs to stay the same yeah 
get it more forward and give that little butterfly. So that cloth face has to stay a lot more open at address as well. You've moved it. How's that? More, more open. Yep. Wow. Yep. Yep. Okay, so and as I look at it, it starts to feel like I'm really cutting across it, like almost 90 degrees. It's going to feel. Feeling. Yes. Yes. There's your movement in the air. Yeah. And over time, the strike will get better, the comfort will Look, get it's, more. Yeah. But just to get that flight, wow.